Hey there kids, welcome to another math video. <clears throat> this is for Eureka Math Grade 5, Module 5, Lesson 10, Homework. And the objective at the bottom of the page is to find the area of rectangles with whole by mixed and whole by fractional uh, number side lengths by tiling. That's what this is here. Record by drawing if you're going to do that. <clears throat> That'll be on part C. <clears throat> and then relate to fraction multiplication, which is just a simple formula. Area equals length times width. So it's actually not hard. It's kind of fun today. Um, so we'll jump in. Hopefully you already did this. Remember, you try to do it on your own first. Then you check your work against this video so that you can see what you did well and what you did incorrectly. So uh, let's get into it. John tiled some rectangles using square units. And again, square units, units are just a fancy way of saying whatever we're measuring by. So it could be centimeters, it could be inches, it could be meters, it could be feet. It doesn't matter. We're just going to call it a unit so it is what it is. Sketch the rectangles if necessary. Not here, not here, but on C. Uh, fill in the missing information and then confirm the area by multiplying. So the first one's kind of done for you. At least the tiling is done. <clears throat> I don't usually do the dotted lines. takes too long. Um, but they've got it done for you. So this is a fully three, one, two, three across, but then two and a half. So it's fully one, fully another one, and then a half. So you have to make your half or fractional units not quite a full square. That's up to you when you get there and just try to be as neat as you can. So um, our, our formula that we're going to plug these numbers into, and you can just kind of squeeze it in wherever you want, would be taking the length times the width. Now remember, you can use an X or you can use a dot, but I want you to get used to seeing these all over the place and all mixed up because the, that's how it's going to be on tests. So um, when you have a mixed number, you have to turn the whole number into a fraction over 1. 3 divided by 1 is 3. That's why I can use this as a fraction. And then 2 and a half is actually, it's like 2 halves and then 2 halves again. And so how many halves do you actually have? Well, you've got 5 halves because 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. Look to cross cancel, but we can't here, so you're going to end up with 15 halves. This is a division problem. Remember that, you, that lesson, fractions as division? 15 divided by 2 makes 7 and a half, and your area is 7 and a half units squared. Notice the 2 exponent. They already have it for you, but if you ever had to do your own, you have to put a little 2 exponent. And that's your answer. And so why does it work out like that? Because 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, and then we've got the half here and half here. That makes seven. And we also have this half here. So six plus one is seven plus a half. So the area is seven and a half little square units. So that's what we're doing here on lesson 10. Here's rectangle B. Oh, my squeaky chair. I gotta scooch it around. It sounds like old. It sounds like a secondhand chair. Yes, it is. Yes. It is. Okay. Thank you, thrift store. All right, here we go. So this time they did not give you the units and you have to calculate them. It's not hard. It's actually right here. So two and a fourth and it doesn't matter which one's which. I just tend to go this way and call that the long side. So two and a fourth here for me. And then four units here on this side. And now we have to use our formula and they didn't really didn't give us any room over here, so I'm just gonna kind of squish it. Or you could do the flip to improper fraction over here and kind of set it up underneath. Four times two is eight plus one is nine. And four as a whole number would be in a fraction over one. That right there, folks, should send bells and shivers up your spine saying, hooray, I can cross cancel. I get a super easy answer. And so my area is nine units squared. Now come over here and look at my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I have four fourths for nine. Okay? So that's where we're getting our, uh, our tiling and our total for the nine units squared. Now on this one, 
at the bottom, you actually are supposed to draw in the big blank space. If it's three fourths units long, then I would have a square that's like not quite the full square. Kind of cut it short, so it should be more rectangular, longer than it is uh, across. And so that's going to be your three fourths. But I have to do that four full units wide. And so you get to tile it. So that would be your four. And so hopefully you did that or something like it. If you actually did it the other way, like I'm not going to fault you for it. Um, I'm just trying to be consistent with length and then width for these. Um, our uh, multiplication here, 3 fourths times 4 over 1, 1, 1. And that gives us 3 over 1, which is 3. And you could count these and always think of like, three-fourths as 75.75, um, three-quarters, whatever. And so you could go 75 plus 75 is like $1.50 or 150. And when you add two 150s, you get three, and that makes sense right there. So I don't know. I'm always trying to tie things into other units that you might be familiar with, like money or something like that. Okay. Now this one you also get to draw the rectangle for D, and we have two units long and one and three fourths units wide. I feel like I can see all my pencil writing all over the place. I hope that's not a distraction for you. Okay, anyway, I gotta clean that up. Okay, so two units long, so we're gonna have a full square and a full square so that's our two units long and one and three-fourths units wide so it's going to be all of this this is my one so i only need three-fourths here and then we would just close that off so it looks there's your three-fourths it it looks like it's almost a full square but it's not quite and now you can use your formula two and then turn this into a, an improper fraction. Four times one is four, plus three is seven, seven fourths. I love to cross cancel, ringing bells. Woo, divide by two. Two divided by two is one. Four divided by two is two. That gives us seven halves, which is a simple division problem. Two fits into seven, three whole times with one left over. So you end up with three and a half units squared. Notice the little two exponent, that is your area. And so if you needed to calculate if this is gonna be all of one and all of two, then this would be almost a third, but when you add this one onto it, you're gonna have a little bit more than three, which makes sense. And again, you can do all of that addition uh, if you'd like on your own. Okay, Rachel made a mosaic. Oh, this one has a lot of work. Rachel made a mosaic from different color rectangular tiles. Three tiles measured three and a half by three. Okay. Six tiles measured four by three and a fourth. What is the area of the whole mosaic in square inches? So um, I'm sure they would like you to draw what it is. Uh, if it's just show the one of each tile at first so you can see and label. Let's start out with our three and a half by three. Call this the three and a half. It's just slightly longer than the three, but that's going to be each. Okay, each of them, three tiles measured three and a half by three. And then we have, so three and a half, three and a half, okay. Um, next one is four by, and this is six tiles, four by three and a fourth. So four, actually I gotta do just a little bit shorter. 
This is my four by three and a fourth. And we're gonna have six of those. You can do all in a row. It doesn't matter, we're not putting them together in the mosaic, we're just counting them out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and so we're, we've got our dimensions, but you kinda need to know that there is a lot more than just one of the units. Okay, now if you set it up mathematically to solve, you're gonna have to do your area equals length times width, and you can do one of them so um, your formula to find one is the length times the width, but we have to do three. So for this one, we're gonna do three and a half times the three, and when I get the area of the square, I'm gonna multiply that by three. So we have an extra step for those three tiles. Now for this one, we're gonna have a four by three and a fourth, but when we finish getting our area there, we have to multiply that by six. Okay, so not hard, just organize your work. Let's get started. Oh yeah, click subscribe. Take a second, just go click subscribe, and then you'll be notified when I make more videos and I can help you again. All right, two times three is six plus one is seven. And we're gonna put that over uh, the three over one because three is a whole number. I can't cross cancel, so I'm gonna go ahead and multiply. And um, I still have to multiply this whole thing by three. So I have my fraction that I can multiply. I can't cross cancel here, so three times one is three, three times two is six and then I can um, do my division problem. Two goes into six three times and it goes into three one time and there's one left over. <clears throat> and so the first um, uh, tiles that are three and a half by three would have a total area for all three tiles of 31 and a half inches squared. And then you can kind of like set that out, but we're not done with it yet. We need to add this total area, which we're now gonna start figuring out. So four over one, three times four is 12, plus one is 13 fourths, which is nice and easy, huzzah, oh my goodness, we end up with a 13 for our area times six, very easy. Six times three is 18, carry the one, six times one is six, plus one is seven. So I end up with a whole number, which is so, easy to add to my mix number because now I just carry my fraction down. So I end up with 109 and a half units inches squared for the whole uh, mosaic. Okay, so hopefully you got 109 and a half inches squared for your number two. Well, your number two and your number also, T-O-O. -O. Okay, finally, last one for today. A garden box has a perimeter, the distance around, of 27 and a half feet. If the length is nine feet, what is the area of the garden box? This is so typical, so typical of a test question. You should really understand how to do this kind of stuff uh, for tests. Okay, so what do we have? Draw a picture if it helps you. Garden box has a perimeter of 27 and a half, but the length is nine. So I could just go nine, oops, my little lead, it wants to leave me. Nine feet and nine feet. And we have a rectangular uh, box, but 18 feet out of the 27 are already used up. I don't know the short side but I could certainly figure it out because nine plus the short side and nine plus the short side would make 27 and a half. Do you know what to do now? Add up the two, which is 18, and take that away from 27. OK, 
okay? Because I need to find the difference so I can figure out how to split that. So I don't have anything to take away from the half, so I'm just going to bring that down. And the difference between 18 and 28 would be 10, but it's actually not that. It's one less. So I have the difference of 9 and a half, which I now have to split into two pieces. So if you divide that by 2, you can either um, split it with uh, just looking at it and going 2 goes into 9 four times, but then I have um, something left over. You could change it into a decimal and do 9.5. Um, it's really up to you. Uh, I kind of like to do the 0.5, and then if you want to split that, you would get your fractional value. So two goes into nine four times. There's your eight that I was just talking about. And then here's your uh, fractional, decimal fraction, 15 tenths divided by two, seven. Multiply, get one left, annex is zero, and now you can see what your fraction's gonna be. Five times two is 10, and we have nothing left over. So it's four and 75 hundredths, but when you convert that to a fraction, you would simplify 75 one hundredths into three fourths. So four and three fourths is your half of nine and a half. And so each side length is four and three fourths feet and now you can find the area. So that's the strategy um, to set it up. Yes, I will finish the problem, but that's just the strategy, length times the width now for area. And so it's gonna be nine times four and three fourths. Now, how do you wanna do it here? Do you wanna multiply this and then multiply by that? You can, um, which is something that a lot of students like to do. A lot of my students really prefer using the improper fraction, so we're gonna do that here. 16 here plus three is 19. No easy way about it, there's nothing to simplify, so it's just gonna be 19 times nine, 81, and nine plus eight is 17. So we end up with 171 divided by four. And long division, uh, 171, I don't know why I was thinking about the 9, 4, 16, subtract, bring down, uh, can't be quite 3, so it's 2, and we get 3 left over. So 42 and 3 fourths feet squared is your final answer for number three. That's the area of the garden box. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful and tune in next time to see what lesson I will cover. Goodbye for now.